as we enter the top five, we always have a round table, usually of writers, uh, people that think outside the box, maybe analytically to give us their personal top five. We're, we're changing it up this year. I'm going to call this the top 100 players alpha table. Three alpha males who think they're right about everything, no matter what the topic is. Let me introduce you to them. All three great guys. Yonder Alonzo, <laughs> Mark DeRosa, Chris Young, MLB Network Analyst Supreme. Okay, guys, here we go. I want to dive into your top five players. Each one of you worked on it. We have no idea what you have in your list. I'm going to pick my favorite leadoff guy to lead things off. Yonder Alonzo, I watched you lead off against the Cardinals in the only game you ever let off. So because of that, you're leading us off. Give us your top five. Yeah, and it was an 0 for 4, by the way. Look, this is the first time I'm doing this, so take it easy on me, okay? I swung at the first pitch, and now I'm swinging at the first pitch all over again. So, okay. you know, it, it's very simple for me. Look, when I look at my top five, it, it, they, they can all be number one. But at five, I have Tatis Jr., and the reasons for that is, look, he's got him back-to-back consideration uh, for MVPs. And then I have Max Scherger at number number four, and the reasons for that is what he's done in the postseason at, you know, 38 years old. By the way, 14 years with 12, 30 start seasons. Then I have Acuna. We all know what he can do. I have Soto, who's pretty much right now, everybody fears him at the plate. He, he's like the umpires fear him. And then, of course, I have Showtime, Shohei Otani at number one because he can pitch and hit and do all the crazy things that we can see at a baseball field. D-Row, it looks like you forgot there's a guy that wears number 27 out in Anaheim. Did he forget somebody? Do you know? I can't. Well, wait, wait till he sees my list because you want to beat a man, you got to beat the man. And I know we had a little calf issue, but Mike Trout stands alone, and then the rest of them filter in. Hey, Yana, how in the world is Mike Trout? Going. How is Mike Trout but, 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 not in that fight? You know, if you if you haven't played all year, if you have 117 at bats, I don't think it's fair. Look, I, I think for you to be able to be on a list like this, being healthy is part of a season. But I mean, it's Ronald not that Acuna easy. Once played, you get done Acuna playing, played 82 when you games. Go home, Acuna played but he 82 still, games. He, he still did his thing. He was a catalyst. He was in the middle of the lineup for a majority of the time in a season. For, for me, Mike Trout, as soon as he got hurt, it was pretty much game over. All right, CY, let's see how you did. <laughs> Give us your top five. My list is a little different, but I'm starting with who I think is the best Ooh. pitcher in the game, Mr. Jacob DeGrom. Mm -hmm. When he's on the mound, he's better than anybody out there, point blank, period. Mike Trout, because of the injuries, has dropped to number four. But if he's on the field, even at 30 years old, he's the best hitter in the game. Tatis Jr., the ultimate combo of speed and power, even by missing, you know, 30-something games last year, Ooh. still top three MVP. Vladdy, number two. He's going to win Triple Crown again and again and again. Those days are coming up for him. And then Mr. Showtime, Shohei Otani, the best guy out there. If he's on the field, there's nobody who can do what he does, and we won't see that talent for another 100 years. So that's my list, what y'all got to say. Yonder, go ahead. You pick his <laughs> list apart. You get a crack at it. Guerrero Jr.? I mean, he's only done it one time. Look, I had Dero over here giving me a whole statistical historical on Mike Trout for 10 years. And you got Guerrero Jr. for six months of baseball? Man, what are we doing, man? Okay, I give who's you Guerrero, I give you Trout, I give you Shohei Otani. Who's going to have the better I, I think offensive Acuna. season next year? I think Vladdy Acuna will. Obviously, we don't know what. I, I think Soto will have just as good as a year as Guerrero. Look, let's not forget with, with not Soto, the Nationals, went, the Nationals went 65 and 97. Okay, he's a one-man wrecking crew. With the Toronto Blue Jays, he, he's got kind of a cast around him, which is a lot better to produce and do the things you got to do. All right, all right so, so all right, you previewed pitchers. your top five, Zero. Pitchers, yeah. You previewed your top five. We're not expecting to see DeGrom, Scherzer. Who, who does make up your top five? Okay, I want to say something real quick because I've been watching you guys on a <laughs> nightly basis, killing it on MLB tonight. I've been off the air since the last out and the Atlanta Braves won the World Series. So you know when I do a list, Greg. All right, you've got to impact the game in multiple ways to make my top five, <laughs> okay. except for number one, and we'll get there. All right, so let's start. Let's roll it out there. Juan Soto, I can't deny the hit tool. I can't deny it. You're on base 50% of the time. So you get in there at number five. Ronald Acuna, he had ACL tear in July. He's going to be fine. I've been down that road. He will be completely fine in 10 months. I expect him to be awesome. From opening day going forward, he might win the NL MVP. Tatis's slug is off the charts. Shortstop, we can clean it up. He'll, he will be fine. Number two is Otani. I know he's a global superstar, but 
I'm sorry, Mike Trout's the best player I've ever witnessed outside of Barry Bonds. And it's, I mean, one little calf injury, and I think they shut him down because where were the Angels really going at the end of the day? So I think it was get them ready for this season. And I think had they been in the race, you would have seen them back. And his numbers before he got hurt were just absolutely gigantic. So the black type on his baseball reference page is just too much to ignore. I know Otani's an absolute stud. I went back and forth with one, two. But there, there I sit. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll throw. I, I, know I love thing. DeGrom. I love Scherzer. I love all that. But I just think these, these five guys deserve to be in, in the top five and, and sprinkle them however you want. It would take a lot to dethrone Mike Trout. So maybe pitching yeah. and hitting and hitting over 40 bombs would be enough. But not according to Mark DeRose. I'm with you. I'm with you. I just need to see him do it one more time. Okay. That's fair. There's nothing wrong with that. And, guys, those were tremendous lists. Uh, yonder, I don't know. No, but do you see why? Yeah. D-Row, those were tremendous. Uh, I just having lists. Trout there at number one, anywhere in the top five, it, it, it's doable. Okay. But having them just number one, I mean, that, that's that's tough. It's not tough. It's not tough. Like you know, it's it's been tough. the best player of the right. last decade. This could last for another it's 10 minutes. It's about right so now. Like right you, now. If you want to wipe right them off now. the screen, you can to our director, Tom Healy. Guys, thank you. Yonder, d CY, that was an amazing <laughs> segment. Yeah, that was good stuff. Can't wait for the whole show, man. That was uh, that was entertaining stuff. Love that d had his own open. When we come back, John Hay will tell us the best, the best rotation lineup, bullpen catchers, infield, outfield manager, Heyman's picks when we come back. Welcome back to Hot Show. We're on there, okay? Yeah, we're I'm on there. I'm learning you, Adnan. We are friends, so I hate to do this to you, oh, but for no. the sake, yo, yeah, oh, no, it's right. For the sake of good television, I'm putting you to the test. You movie buff, you, okay? Yeah. How many baseball movies it. have you seen? Uh, probably about 20. How many? How okay. many what? Baseball movies. H, how many for you? Well, yeah, I mean, however many there are, I've probably seen most of them. We got a lot of them on the network, so yeah. Okay, I've seen a league of their own. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to give you a movie quote. You tell me the movie. Can All you right. <clears throat> Are you nervous? I am very nervous, by the way. <laughs> Reputation nervous, at stake right? here, I know. And Lauren's going to go after us. I am. Um, I don't care if they like me. I didn't come here to make friends. Name the movie. Uh, eight no. Men Out. No. That's a great cast. I love Eight Men Out. It's not for love well, of the I, game. I would have no, to say, uh, no, it's uh, Bull Durham. No, it's no not. I, I feel like it's. And where's the end? There we go. Um, a Trouble with the Curve? Nope. Mm. Oh, I, I don't care if they like. 42. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Harrison Ford, amazing. Care. They respect right. me, the phenomenal 42. Who, who said the quote? Was that right. supposed to be Jack? Next. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Right. The spirit of Babe Ruth offers advice. Everybody gets one chance to do something great. Crash Davis. No. Uh, the babe. Playing exactly how I thought it would, by the way. The babe. 61. Oh, man. 61 is not right. What if I said heroes get remembered, legends never die? Sandlot. Sandlot. That was a cheap well, it, it, by the way. It's one that's but like a famous quote. I'm right, she's not going to give us the famous quote. She's going to more obscure quote. Like, right, it's not going to be there's right. no crying in baseball. Exactly. Thank you, When the moon that's turned, the game. When the moon turned <laughs> white, the ball flies out the sky. Okay. You're awful whiny. Don't be bitter, be better, honey. You ready? No one's stopping that. You love the Red Sox, but have they ever loved you back? is easy. Well, uh, I gotta think that is, um... Harold, you were in this movie! <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, favorite pitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Again, good clue. When you make it about us, it always helps. Yes, you and the Carver. Yes! I had forgotten. That's worth a couple of digs. That's oh awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> You you that was, great, that was a great movie, by the way. <laughs> Jimmy Singh. Well, 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 you were great. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon was amazing. And Drew. And Drew, they were great. Yeah. Clark, could you not pick your nose in front of me? Uh, that sounds like something like Superman. <laughs> That's not what? Clark. That is not a baseball what? movie. Uh, bench warmers. Uh, who? Bench, bench warmers. warmers. Oh, no, I never saw that movie. Yeah, that's the little... David Spade, no. Yeah. Yeah, David Spade. Okay, two more. You get on base 
we win. You don't, we lose. Oh, now that is from Major League. <laughs> uh, no. I thought that was for sure Willie Mays Hayes. They would tell him. That does make sense. But if you think of on base percentage, money ball. Very smart. There you go. That's good. But, I, but I like your reasoning as well. Through all these shenanigans. See, I'm thinking fun good, funny stuff. You know, like Willie <laughs> Mays Hayes. Think of baseball movies. Just think of the, the genre, okay? Just right. Focus on the okay, H is waiting for the natural. Come on, close it for the natural. This is, this is, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. That's well, the that's, quote. That, that is from, uh, that's gotta be something like, we always said, 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 said bench warmers. No, what's yeah. the kids' movie that? <laughs> that is Bears. Oh. League of Their Own? <laughs> yeah. oh. Stillwell Angel. <laughs> what? Stillwell Angel? What the hell? League of Their Own, League of Their Own. There you go. That's the only Last movie you one. Saw. <laughs> That's the only movie you saw. Yeah. This is terrible. You, you are terrible. If you build it, we will come. Oh, who knows what that is? Oh, my God. oh, don't get cocky now, honey. You've gotten one out of ten. Name the movie. Wow, that was tough. Morosi, though.